Okay, this is definitely going to be a rather short video because there w wasn't too much in this episode to talk about besides the challenge and what happened when the Green Shark was preparing and actually doing a Tribal Council. And all of these topics have been analyzed to death by everyone else. There's nothing that I can really add to it, especially since I'm still in the mindset of this is all just one big cast, which I'm not complaining about, but again, there is no huge person I'm rooting for or against. There is literally no one no. in that regard. I'm just sitting back and enjoying myself. So, yeah. So, try to talk about what other real smidgens of conversation that there still is. Um... Marianne revealing that she had the extra vote on the Orange Tribe, that's her nature, but then of course she does um, lose her main vote by finding the Beware advantage, because as we've learned from last season, she can give away the extra vote to somebody else. Then there's the fact that Daniel looks at the immunity clue again, because I was always kind of annoyed at how they don't seem to be reading the entire things out anymore, and I'm always thinking, there's a heck of a lot of text there. Is there anything new? Well, for once, there is something new, where we learn that if all idols make it to um, the merge, or whichever ones are there, then all of a sudden, bing, it becomes an automatic idol. So, he goes, yeah, I've lost a lot of bargaining power. Well, I don't think you have as much as you um, would like to think. Especially with that um, paranoia speech as to why you're not going to win. But I do not think it's paranoia that is going to cost Daniel here this game. It's just as I've said before. Some people, they just get on the beach. 0% chance of winning the game. David in Millennials vs. Gen X is an exception because he had 0%. And it turns out he actually almost made it. But then, of course, yeah. But... I'm sure that there's a couple of other situations where they really managed to change it around, but they all really pop it into my mind, and you really only need one example anyway. Right. But it was nice to get that little extra detail. Then that uh, challenge, well... Wow. Ocean is a beast, and I've never seen the waters of Fiji act that rough. Heck, I've never seen the waters act that way um, anywhere on any um, survival season that's by water, really, so... Whew. It could be kind of rough. I mean, like, I complain about having to bike into, like, 10-plus mile-an-hour winds because, like, there's this hill that I have to um, go down um, when I'm going to work, and if the wind's coming rather hard at me, I can't use gravity to um, go like any faster because what I like to do is when I'm at the top of the hill there's a tiny flat portion so what I like to do is power bike for a few seconds and then use downward gravity to just shoot me down that hill and it's a long hill believe me if you saw it but if the wind's coming hard at me those times that power biking does absolutely nothing and I instead have to force myself to bike all the way down there because if I let gravity do the work, I'm actually going to be going down slower than if I was biking. Yeah, so I'm sure that was what was going through the chick on either the blue or the green tribe that we saw trying to dive down and get the ladder and not making any progress. I mean, I mean like... I'm not the best swimmer because, I mean, like, upper half, I can do that all day, but kicking my legs... Can't do that, granted, because I'm a runner, that might have to do a tiny bit of that, but of course many runners would argue, hey, I do just fine in the pool. Right. And of course the Orange Tribe is only able to win because of Jonathan, but man, he made it look easy. Just, nice job, dude, really. <laughs> so I really do not blame Jeff for having to call that quits, because, like, that was so close to being unsafe, even though... Rock's story on the Blue Tribe, he did seem to indicate that he needed help, but like, other than that, according to Jeff in his Q&A with Dalton Ross, no one ever seemed to flat out cry for help. Hmm, interesting. 
So then um, Blue getting the win, I kind of predicted that just because we had no camera time from the Blue Tribe. Although I was like, is this a red herring? Because Blue might find their idol. But, no. Green goes to Tribal. Then we have the Summit bit. Will they both um, risk their vote? Which I kind of predicted right at the um, end there. So that's a first when it comes to um, these decisions where it works out bad for everybody. And then, of course, because there was a heck of a lot of split vote idea you know, going on and just about double deals. Because I don't know if you can truly call them double deals if you ask me. Although that might be because I still don't... No, I have everyone memorized, unfortunately. So then at Tribal, we get a tie, and for the first time officially, people are noticing, hey, yeah, uh, we aren't seeing the right amount of votes, because in, like, Ghost Island, Island of the Idols, anytime somebody lost their vote, it wasn't obvious. And even when um, Kelly in Ghost Island used her extra vote... No one noticed that either. Man, this. So then that rocks discussion. I thought for sure that Jeff was, you know, going to um, call it quits. But I don't think the two-minute rule actually holds up. Because Jenny made it quite clear that it went on forever, this discussion. And they definitely had to have shown at least two minutes worth of camera time. Uh, and given how Jeff was like, you know, is there a decision? I think that the two-minute thing there is kind of arbitrary. I wouldn't be too surprised if every time there was a rock discussion bit, bit, it's really, he's listening to his earpiece, if he even has one, and people are like, I think that we should call it quits at this point. That's what I really think happens when it comes to rocks. To be honest. So for the first time, when we have a truly deadlocked tie, somebody actually ended up changing their mind on this show. So two firsts in one episode. That's crazy. So Jenny going, unfortunately, I didn't know too much about her, so... Right. Sorry, there's nothing left to talk about if you're asking me. Dalton Ross of Rob Sestadino have done it all for me. Bye.